far as the weekly tips and fails, I have this really interesting. Did you know that uh, Git does not care about the casing? Let's say I create a um, folder in, in whatever, components folder. And initially I make it with capital case. And then once I change it to lowercase, did you know that Git doesn't care about that? Stuff? No, I, I didn't know. I had no idea. That's okay. weird. So what's what's really interesting though is that let's say okay imagine the uh, React code right so you create um, React router and then in there you create pages folder for the pages you yeah. stuck stuck them in you get them in AppJS and you go with let's say whatever uppercase first and then at the very end you change it to lowercase now all is fa fine and dandy but the thing is uh, when you push this up to the GitHub and let's say it goes to Netlify your code is changing when let's say you change the import from uppercase to lowercase in your code right so let's say if you switch the name you you, you do that otherwise yeah your yeah, code yeah, yeah, yeah you have yeah right so but since git does not care about that when the code arrives at netlify netlify throws the error where it says hey look you know you didn't like i mean i'm looking for this folder and i cannot find it and oh I spent another again. It wasn't too bad because I kind of right away went to research. But this this was one of those weird ones where you're like, okay, listen, it just worked a minute ago. It works locally. Everything is fine, and it right. simply doesn't work because Git does not care. And I like the fact that in the official Netlify blog, instead of uh, just making it really difficult, the solution is very straightforward: remove the folder commit the changes, so then Git basically is going to push it without the folder, then obviously rename the folder as well, or keep it if you already yeah. rename it, and then just put it back. That's There's no like, you know, I've, no, obviously no. you can you can go with some weird Git commands, but they're like, look, this is the fastest one. Just, and I'm like, this is on the official Netlify blog. And I'm like, yeah, oh. that's funny. <laughs> so, that's funny. Yeah, that, that, that's for me. Is if you, So if you're changing folder names, be very careful if you have the continuous deployment where you know, your code will change, but Git does not care about the folders. That, that's for me. What about you? Any hot tips? Well, I have like two now that I think about it. Like one is like, as you mentioned, me coding live on my uh, stream. So last stream I was coding live and I wrote the code and in, it was correct with a minor mistake. Um, and I was like, literally was stuck and couldn't figure out what I was doing. And it was basically, you know how you sometimes pass your config and it's an object and that object has a bunch of things yep. so the thing that i should have the second thing that i needed to add should have been inside that same object but i put it outside of the object but to me on the screen because i was so tired it all looked the same and so i literally spent an hour being like why the hell this is not working why it's not throwing like a crazy error and everybody's like you got it and i'm like i'm doing the thing ah what the hell but sometimes it's like super silly stuff so i keep coming back to this thing walk away and come back to it tomorrow with a fresh set of eyes because as soon as i opened the code like the next day i was like oh my god i spent an hour on this are you kidding me that was so embarrassing so that's number one and number two like like because um at my job where i'm working you know i'm working with like certain like specific technology swances like graphql strappy react whatever it is and sometimes like you get these uh questions or assignments that you even yourself don't know how to do. And so what happens is I end up kind of have to take a break and research the topic and figure it out. And so what I started doing preemptively now, it's like, okay, at work, I really have to be familiar with like GraphQL and the way it interacts with React or Strapi. Like, and Strapi is a big one for me. Um, so every day I just read the Strapi documentation for an hour based on the thing that I'm trying to do at work. So I'm preemptively going into the documentation because I realized that before I was like doing stuff and until it was breaking, I didn't know if it was the right way or not. And what I discovered reading the documentation, some of these things people already tried. And so they'll show you some of the gotchas that you might have. So I basically, my new thing now, when I wake up and have my coffee for like an hour, I'll just read something specific to my work in terms of learning and studying and it's been helping me tremendously um and also you're constantly learning and uh so that's like my other pro tip is you know there's never a dull moment but that's something that has been helping me a lot recently but uh let's say the resources do you i mean you obviously already know kind of what you're working on but do you use like 
you search for blogs do you just yeah go, yeah yeah blogs so. yeah so I'll, I'll search like literally the topic and i'll start at the documentation and then i also have another tab open where i'll look at blogs and kind of like cross reference or see like you know kind of help me to get bigger context of what like i'm doing in the documentation yeah so searching like stack overflow blogs and um and the documentations and rarely what i do, like i don't watch videos at all because watching a video like like i want my hour to be productive and it's just way easier to skim through text and get to the point where with, with a video it's very difficult to do but interestingly enough there's this one issue i was having where the docs was like they i don't know if they made a mistake but the json file they had for the config was wrong and I would have never figured this out until I was like, I was literally like, like looked everywhere all over the net. And it was this one YouTube video I found, which was like connecting Google storage uh, cloud to Strapi. And it was not even in, it was like in Italian. And I literally watched the video in Italian. And then I'm like, oh, wait a second, this config file looks different. And I go to the docs. I'm like, why in the docs it looks wrong? So I basically, you know, structured my config like he did and it worked. And I was like, oh my God, from all the places, find a video that the only one video on the topic in Italian. And I was like, you know what? Good, good. It got me the answer. So. I definitely would have, wouldn't have went down the rabbit hole. If I would have seen that uh, <laughs> it's in Italian, I probably would have never like even went. <laughs> I, I just stumbled on it. I stumbled on it. I was just like, oh, this doesn't sound like English, but I was already committed, you know? so and actually to add your to your first point this is like very interesting for me like i can honestly say that each and every time when i decide to skip my lunch let's say to fix you know as i'm working on something or stay up later to fix something every time 100 percent, i regret that because every time like i cannot solve it in like let's say those let's say i skip a lunch and then i work for those next two three hours whatever and the moment I go down and start, like, let's say, playing with my daughter, I'm like, I, I know where's the problem, right? The moment you step away. And so this is very, very big. Like, if you're really hitting something, I, I mean, I always just, just, like you said, just walk away, you know, especially if you're tired, you know, because you'll have, you're already, you're just kind of hitting all the, you know, like dead ends and, and it's not really productive. So I definitely, definitely uh, agree with that point. Another thing that I like read, like, 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 I'm always like curious, is there like a good way to study? Is there like the secret formula? So I read a lot of these, like learn how to study type of books and stuff. And then there's one which talked about if you want to help yourself to recall something after you learn something, take a nap. So obviously I'm not going to take a nap in the middle of the day, but what I just started to do, I started reading a little bit, like for 15, 20 minutes, right before I go to sleep. And what's interesting, not all the time, sometimes I'll actually dream about code, which is weird. But the next day I wake up, like, I feel like I thought about it in my sleep. It's like, it's like, I, when I think of it, I think it, like, like my understanding seems to make more sense. And I don't know, like, how much truth is it in it? I'm sure there's something to it because there were studies done about this, but I was like, oh, like, let me, so I started doing that a lot. It's like, I'll read a little bit uh, before sleep. As, as yeah. far as what I've read in productivity books, it's because brain, basically, you let the brain do the work for you. So instead Perfect. of, you know, pushing that, then I know that my wife went basically her, that's her approach of studying. She, uh, she always like, she does it in the evening where she's like reading, reading, and then she goes to sleep. And she says that she, right. like, she went through the nursing school with, with all, and she, she, that's her like kind of approach. So I definitely can attest to that, that uh, it's not for me because I'm usually, as I'm reading, I fall asleep. So yeah. I need to be kind of very careful with that. But in general, that, 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 that is a very good approach. 